digital curation is, in my way of thinking, the process by which you select and manage the digital content that we are all creating in our cultural heritage institutions, in our research institutions. A digital curation for me is the uh, preserving of the data uh, uh, once it has been created and then to preserve it as long as, it, as needed and uh, so uh, the uh, data can be uh, retrieved, can be found again and can be reused again. One of the problems I think we face is that we have so many different terms which are used to describe this problem or this issue which we all face, which is making sure we have access to data, to information, to infrastructure beyond the uh, lifetime of the technology in which it's based. So for me, digital curation is about ensuring that we have long-term access to data or materials or infrastructure beyond the limits of technical obsolescence. Maybe it's just me, but it's, I think sometimes the, the this idea of reusing content is never really emphasised enough, you know, so I think this idea of being able to reuse the content in perpetuity, um, that, you know, that's a key component to, 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 to digital creation. Um, I think that it's important not only to, for preserving access, but for communicating the context and for the reuse. Uh, reuse, uh, which is uh, not only manipulating but reusing for other purposes, uh, as we are doing in this beautiful uh, building. Well, for me, digital curation is enhancing digital content, so you're making it usable and uh, readable and um, accessible to people over time. So not just uh, in the here and now, but for the future. Um, and really, you define what the future is going to be. Right, if it's five years or 50 years. I, mean, I suppose there are things that are emerging, issues that are emerging, particularly perhaps around scale um, and around um, the management of research data and its curation and its preservation. And those, those kinds of issues do seem to have um, grown in the last well, few years and are, and are getting more urgent as, um, as institutions and organisations need to need to tackle um, larger and larger amounts of data, which, which perhaps it seems to me still hasn't entirely kind of kicked in um, as a really urgent problem within many institutions. You know, you, you, the, the, the target is continually moving in relation to technologies and um, the speed with which um, technologies have changed over the last 10 years if that is matched or exceeded over the next similar period of time, um, then I think that's a major challenge, you know. There's no point in saying that we're worried about data loss. There's almost no point in worrying about what happens to data itself. If we do that in isolation, then we forget that we're involved in data for the strategic goals, that we, the opportunities that we spotted at the start. So the reason why data loss is an issue isn't because we're going to lose bits and bytes. It's because we're not going to be able to provide services to the public. It's because we're going to lose medical records. It's because we're not going to manage aircraft fuselage parts in such a way that they can stay in the air. It's because we're not going to be able to find efficiently cures for illnesses, cures for diseases. It's because we're not going to be able to develop communities which are smarter, safer, healthier, wealthier, greener, all those policy objectives which we have. I often talk to people that are about personal digital archiving and people now have their wedding photos, their baby's photos, everything is digital. And if you can set up an analogy between our cultural heritage information and then that personal kind of information, it's like they don't want to lose that and they also don't want to lose this other big amount of data that we've spent a tremendous amount of resources creating, selecting, protecting, hopefully protecting, that underscores the value of funding this activity. Um, we need to preserve with a purpose and that purpose is to give um, society, general public, whoever, opportunities in the future that they wouldn't otherwise have. And so I think that the very, very, very challenging uh, obstacle is uh, to uh, start changing the culture of the professional. Future is now, and you are responsible. 
Um, and this is a very difficult uh, change on culture. <laughs>